This video is for small holders using gravity feed drip irrigation on a small plot of land or garden. The most commonly used scheduling method is program scheduling, but this method wastes a lot of water because it does not respond to the prevailing weather conditions. By upgrading from programmed irrigation scheduling to measured irrigation scheduling, water consumption may be reduced by 50% or more without affecting the yield. The cost of upgrading to measured irrigation is just the cost of a bucket or evaporator and a steel pipe. My name is Dr Bernie Omedy and in October 2016 I was invited to Kenya by the World Agroforestry Centre to train farmers and extension workers to use measured irrigation. The World Agroforestry Centre is coordinating a multi-agency initiative called the Billion Dollar Business Alliance for Rainwater Harvesting whereby thousands of farm ponds would be made available to small holders throughout sub-Saharan Africa. Measured irrigation, as presented in this video, is being evaluated as an option for farmers participating in the Billion Dollar Business Alliance. I will now tell you how to upgrade your drip irrigation to measured irrigation. All that is needed is an evaporator and a steel pipe. Evaporator for measured irrigation. The evaporator may be any container with vertical sides and a suitable surface area of evaporation. Draw a level line on the inside of the evaporator about 3 cm below the overflow level. Position the evaporator in the garden, preferably exposed to full sun. Position a dripper so that it will drip water into the evaporator. This dripper is called the control dripper and it should be at the same level as the other drippers in the garden. The volume of water delivered by each dripper in your garden during the irrigation event is the same as the volume of water delivered to the evaporator by the control dripper. Between irrigation events the water level in the evaporator falls due to evaporation. How to use the evaporator? Check the water level in the evaporator at sunset each day. If the water level is below the level line, start irrigating. Stop irrigating when the water level reaches the level line. If the garden requires less frequent watering, you may choose not to irrigate on certain days. If the garden requires more frequent watering, you may choose to irrigate during the day as well as at sunset. For example, if the weather is very hot and dry. How to adjust the surface area of evaporation. The amount of water that your plants need will depend on many factors in addition to the weather. For example, as the plants grow and become bigger, they will need more water. Plants growing in sandy soil will need more water than plants growing in heavy soil. To take account of all these additional factors, I recommend that you use a length of steel pipe to check the moisture level in the soil. I suggest that the diameter of the pipe be between 40 and 50 millimetres. An angle grinder can be used to cut some small slots in the steel pipe so that you can inspect the core sample of soil inside the pipe. I suggest that the width of the slots be about 13 millimetres. Early in the morning after irrigation the night before, push or hammer the steel pipe into the soil near a dripper. Then remove the steel pipe from the soil and use the slots to inspect the moisture level in the core sample and the position of the wetting front. It may be useful to use the slots to remove a small sample of soil and to squeeze it between your fingers. If the plants have been given too much water, then you can reduce the water usage by reducing the surface area of evaporation. For example, the surface area of evaporation can be reduced by placing full bottles of water in the evaporator. On the other hand, if the plants have not been given enough water, then you can increase the surface area of evaporation. After irrigation and adjustments over several days, the surface area of the evaporation should stabilise at an appropriate level for the plants at their current stage of growth. As your crop grows and the water requirement of the crop changes, you may wish to repeat the process of adjusting the surface area of evaporation. Measured irrigation uses much less water. By implementing measured irrigation scheduling as described in this video, you may use half as much water compared with programmed irrigation scheduling. 
If you choose to upgrade to measured irrigation, I will support you in whatever way I can. Detailed instructions can be downloaded from the Measured Irrigation website www.measuredirrigation.com.au Please send me an email whenever you have any questions. Thank you.